Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today I'm going to show you six hidden and useful features for the DJI GO 4 app. All these features will apply for the Mavic Pro and Mavic Pro Platinum. Some of them will also apply for the other DJI drones. Hidden feature number one, simply swipe the screen towards your left and down at the bottom you'll be able to easily adjust the screen brightness of your device. There are four other options here. Portrait and landscape so you could easily turn your camera. Gimbal up and down, it's a great way to be able to reset your gimbal so it's pointing forward horizontally. Home point aircraft so you could set the home point where the aircraft is currently located. Or you could set the home point me where you're setting the home point where you're located with the remote controller and your device. To exit this display, simply touch the screen. Hidden feature number two, swipe up. Now you get the full screen mode, and what's really nice about this mode is you'll actually be able to see the battery life of your device. Touch again to exit. Hidden feature number three, the directional attitude indicator. In your map at the bottom left, simply touch on the bullseye icon, and it'll bring up this display. There's a lot of features of this indicator, so I actually have another video that explains that in detail. Link is in the description. Hidden feature number four allows you to adjust your camera gimbal if the horizon is tilted. To make the adjustment, you would press and hold the C2 button and turn the right dial left or right until you've got the horizon adjusted level. Hidden feature number five allows you to smoothly adjust your camera angle up or down just by pressing and sliding your finger up and down on the screen. Hidden feature number six is useful when using ND filters. In this example, I have 30 frames per second set for my video and I have my shutter speed set at 60. So that gives you a one to two ratio to give you that smooth cinematic look. So first I'm gonna show you what you would need to do to adjust your ISO when you change your camera angle because the exposure has changed. Is normally you would go into the camera settings and adjust your ISO right here. So to make it easier to adjust your ISO setting, you'll go into your remote controller settings, customize the C1 button, to the right dial ISO shutter control. And now when you press that button, you'll be able to toggle between the ISO setting and the shutter speed setting. And then with the right dial, you'll be able to actually change the value. All right guys, so that is it. Hopefully you found at least one feature that you didn't know about that you'll find useful. If you did, appreciate you hitting that like button. And as always, I've got a lot more videos coming up, so go ahead and subscribe if you like. All right, thanks for watching you guys. Happy flying. Bye.